In this video I will talk about 5 habits I implemented that allowed me to excel in game dev college, get a well paying game programmer job in Japan and consistently work on my own projects while having a full time job. I will mostly talk about these habits in terms of programming and game development, however most of these can also be applied to self development in general. As a game developer you continually have to keep on honing your skills. There is always something more you can learn about the game engine or programming language of your choice since the technology is constantly evolving. Paid courses on sites like Udemy or Skillshare are great for leveling up, but nowadays there is also a lot of great free information here on YouTube. You probably often come across tutorial videos about a topic you are interested in learning, but you just end up forgetting about it or never find the time to actually watch it. After recognizing this issue for myself, I created a private playlist I called Watch Later Educational, in which I save all videos that seem like they could teach me something that brings me closer to reaching a certain goal. After you have filled up your list with interesting videos, you need to create the habit of watching content from it for 10 to 20 minutes a day. When I was in game dev college, I used to watch at least one video from computer file or number file while eating breakfast to bolster my computer science knowledge. 15 minutes a day doesn't seem like a lot, but if you consistently do this over the course of months or even years, the amount of information you can take in without much effort is remarkable. Recently I mostly watch videos from this playlist on the side while doing some light gaming or waiting for matchmaking, which leads me to the next topic. When you start to analyze what you use your time on throughout the day, you might notice that you actually have a lot more downtime that is going to waste than you'd think. We all have the same 24 hours available in a day and making proper use of each free minute is critical when developing a new skill or finding time to work on your games. If you spend 30 minutes on the train each day, instead of just sitting on your phone without a certain purpose in mind, you could watch some more videos from the educational playlist, you could read a book about game design, you could look up projects from other indie developers for inspiration, you could brainstorm for one of your projects or do many other productive things. Depending on what kind of day job you have, you might also have a lot of downtime during work. The way you can use that for self-development might be quite limited though, depending on your work environment and what you can get away with. During my last non-developer job, I had a lot of downtime and freedom which actually led to me picking up programming as a hobby in the first place. I would be able to go through Udemy courses and program multiple hours a day or use the time for language studies instead of just letting it go to waste. If you play online games, there's also usually a lot of wasted time when you have to wait for matches or a dungeon group, which you could also use to do something more productive. You've probably heard many times that one of the habits that most successful people share is that they get up early in the morning. If you only start developing your game in the evening, you've already used up a lot of energy working on your day job for 8 hours and commuting for an hour or so. After that it's very easy to just look for an excuse to not do any game development work at all that day and just relax and recharge instead. I recently read The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg and in one section he talks about how willpower plays into your habits. You can think of willpower like a stamina gauge that depletes throughout the day whenever you need to push yourself to do something that is challenging or requires attention. This means that you tend to make worse decisions in the evening and get lazier throughout the day but you can also increase your max willpower over time by training it and consistently pushing the limit. By working on your projects before going to your day job, you make sure that no matter what you have to deal with throughout the rest of the day, you've already taken care of what needs to be done to drive your private projects forward. Even just doing one or two hours a day consistently will allow you to build amazing things over time. Your evenings will also feel a lot sweeter because you've already done your due diligence, so after you come home from work, you can take your well-deserved rest and do something you love. You also won't dread the next day as much, because you know that the time after you wake up is time that is reserved for yourself, and not for scrambling to get to your job first thing in the morning. Another helpful thing is proper task management. I started this habit when I was at Game Dev College and we had our first group project. We had three programmers, two artists and one planner, so it was important that each team member knew what they were supposed to do at all times. You might feel like you just want to jump straight in, especially if it's a game you are working on alone, but there are a lot of benefits to mentally mapping out the project and spending some time on writing out the tasks. If you have to keep on juggling all the tasks and ideas in your head at all times, that takes up a lot of your mental capacity and can be very distracting. But if you have your tasks all written down, you can keep your mind clear and focus only on what's important right now. Especially if you work on big projects, the amount of issues you have to solve can be very overwhelming. And splitting up your tasks allows you to tackle them one at a time. 
Finishing a task will also allow you to check it off the board and give you a small win that can recharge your motivation. The free app I like using is called Trello. Later on I also started using it for things other than game development tasks. I have a different board just with daily errands and things I want to stay on top of. I also have the app installed on my phone so whenever I randomly get an idea I might be able to use for a game or a YouTube video, I instantly write it down. You'll often get good ideas when you least expect them and I think it's very important to capture them before you forget about them. Building the habit of writing down ideas as they come to you will give you a huge library to pull from for future projects. The last but most important thing I want to talk about is creating the habit of tracking your habits. The hardest thing about building good habits is to stay consistent and keep them up for months or even years. You might be motivated at first, but as time moves on it'll most likely start to become a drag or you feel like you've plateaued and aren't improving anymore. At that point it can be very easy to find an excuse to drop a habit or just forget about it over time. In order to keep going you need to create a system to hold yourself accountable and catch yourself before you give up on something that would benefit your life in the long run. I created a simple google sheet where I write out things I want to work on each day to improve myself and be able to finish my projects. For example, work on my game for 2 hours a day, practice pixel art for 20 minutes, study Japanese for 10 minutes, read a book for 10 minutes, floss each day and so on. In the evening I will mark all the things I did accomplish in green and the things I failed to do in red. The things I started on but didn't hit my time quota for I mark in yellow. I believe that marking the things you didn't do is just as important as marking the things you did do. This way you have to hold yourself accountable and if you fail to execute something many times in a row, you know that you have to analyze why it's so hard and what you could do to work around that. Maybe you need to change the order you are doing things in, or maybe you are just trying to do too many things at once. If you start a new habit, you don't want to set the bar too high, because that way it's easy to quickly become overwhelmed and just completely give up on it. The hardest but most important part is to just get started doing it each and every day, even if it's just for 5 to 10 minutes. Once you've successfully turned it into a habit, it's a lot easier to simply increase the time you spend on it slowly. Since getting started is always the hardest part, you'll most likely often find yourself going over the quota you set for yourself because things are starting to flow naturally. I've been consistently writing this list for over 6 years and honestly this has been the biggest factor enabling me to keep myself in check and improving my skill set little by little every day. I hope you found some valuable advice in this video and will try to implement one or more of these habits into your life. Good habits tend to breed more good habits and create a positive feedback loop. So it's very important to just get started on something simple and stay consistent with it. The momentum you gain from that will carry over into everything you do.